Hello my friends and welcome to this tutorial and guide for the Desert Open Tournament. It's the playthrough video. This video is sponsored by Playdemic and Golf Clash and we're going to go and start directly. It's the Rookie Division that we are going to go through here directly. And Rookie Division you do play from the first tee and that's why we do play with our little guest account as it's called Amelia's Dad. And we're going to and we're going to play with an extra mile level 5 that is going to be our main driver so hole number one par 5 the thing that we do want to have here is at least have a ball that do have power one you could also go with a ball that do have like power two power three that will of course make it a bit easier for you to get to the green but with this type of wind it's definitely going to be enough uh, to have uh, a power one ball so uh, bouncing it over there easily. Do not use uh, uh, basically any type of topspin. One, two bars topspin would be the most I would use, especially if I do have an extra mile. You can play this approach with a quarterback or with a rock, depending on if you do have it uh, kind of in, in a decent amount of level. So here you can see our opponent do have an extra mile of seven. It's going to be had no problem whatsoever to reach over there. And if you do have those type of clubs with those uh, with that distance then you can play with a basic ball then you will not be able to uh, yeah care about the distance you know but for the second shot the second shot is going to be uh, yeah as equally long as it would be from playing like pro and expert division or like master so we're going to take the big dog here as you can see we can reach up to the rough there and we made a perfect drive so the thing that we need to have in mind here if we do cut the rough for our drive and go short then we will not have the distance towards the pin so we're going to have four uh, bars of backspin on this shot we're going to adjust it for a little bit more than one ring and not uh, not much more than one ring as you can see there yellow ring just a tiny bit more and then we're going to aim it straight at the pin uh, as we do find a sweet flat spot there uh, on the fire. We hit it great though and great will put our stair to the right but as you can see we're coming in with a good amount of uh, power which would be taking us to the pin at least giving it a shot to go in the hole. So our opponent here is going to go with a basic ball, is going to have a sniper level 7, going to be absolutely enough for that shot. If you do have a club like that, sure play with it, but in general you will not have that upgraded club. So the thing that we can summarize this particular hole with is that we kind of need distance in some way. We don't need it distance with club and ball, we need it with the club or with the ball so it's just important on how you value that and how you want to play it so decide how you want to play it pick the clubs for that and pick the ball for it before you play the hole so hole number two a par four and uh, one of the new holes and we're going to play against marcy and we're going to try of course to get close to get that eagle at least we're going to give ourselves an easy birdie so we're going to start off with uh, uh, getting here on the left side playing there we're going to go with a titan there and the reason we're going for the titan is not that we're going to have trouble for our drive we are definitely going to come in um, with a good amount of distance for a drive it's because of the second shot because the second shot from left side needs distance if you go into have like a a really good try for the pin for your second shot so we're going to adjust it for one and a half ring when it comes to the extra mile level five max side spin to the right with one bar of top spin not more than that slight amount of curl to the left as you will be able to see we bounce it here nicely coming up here putting ourselves in a very good position uh, to get to the green in two if you do go short here you're going to have a big trouble to even reach for the green especially if you pick the wrong club so that is very very important so uh, our opponent here is going to go with uh, his big uh, topper uh, level two and the big topper level two is going to absolutely be okay in this particular situation the good amount of topspin with the big topper is definitely going to help and now using the new jewel ball that you may not have seen before but at least you can buy it now in the um, in the app puts himself in the bunker and that particular shot will not be yeah it will not be possible whatsoever to reach for the green in two so okay we do have the big dog as our second club here here again as you could see 
we are with a club in maximum distance and the thing is here that we do want to go with the max amount of backspin like three and a quarter when it comes to a backspin we kind of would like to go with three and a half or maybe four because we do have some slight tailwind and that will affect our bounce going to go with max side spin to the right and the max side spin to the right is going to definitely be something that we do want to try to stay away from the rough or the bunker uh, sorry rough and the bunker when we are adjusting a landing position we hit it perfect though and we're going to make it bounce and we're coming in a little bit too hot we're getting in close but this is as you can see we're rolling it a bit too far but still we're going to have an easy putt uh, to make a birdie so okay our opponent here as you will be able to see uh, from the bunker here will not have no will have no chance to reach for the green even though uh, it's definitely possible to just play yourself up there on the fairway and then you maybe could sink it from distance but it's in the end it's going to be a very very tough uh, approach here with a uh, with the sandwich and also then with your wedge or with your short arm and so have in mind that the drive is very very important and be accurate with that use a a ball with some power to get, get like you know give your second shot that a little bit easier task so you don't have to like overpower or like um, try to do any specific with curl etc etc so it's just important to give you that uh, that easy attempt that you do want to and maybe if you're lucky enough you're going to make an eagle so hole number three here now and now we're going to get to a little bit of a tricky situation i know it's possible to use the sand uh, sand ramp but then you will need to apply a little bit of curl or like uh, with side spin and stuff like that and especially coming in with tailwind i do value to go on the right side instead to just at least bag that easy birdie uh, and then in the end, sure, if we manage to make an hole in one from this position, we're going to be very, very happy. But to play on the right side, it requires a lot of curl combined with side spin. The thing that we do want to have is that when we do have the curl that we do have on a Saturn level 4, we do want to have a katana instead. So we do have a quasar with a good amount of uh, side spin, but we need a little bit more. So we're going to go with one and a half ring for our, our adjustment with the Saturn. And we're going to go with max curl. And even though Max Girl, as you can see, it's not much, but we need just a tiny bit more, or we need to have a katana that give us a little bit more side spin because we're coming up there nicely, but we do not have the push enough uh, to the left. But when it comes to uh, the the spin that we're using, we're using half a bar of backspin combined with max side spin to the left. I know I've been talking about max side spin, but just to repeat ourselves just a little bit there with a basic ball then you um, are definitely picking the wrong ball it's not that you should just spend and uh, spend and spend when it comes to special ball of course it's possible to play with a basic ball at some points but on this particular hole sure now it's a mauling but on this particular point in the tournament also where you need to have a lot of left uh, on ball or like your uh, club for side spin or and curl then it's going to be very very tricky for you if you play it uh, in that way so hole number four we're going to go to one of the oldest again uh, going to have hole number four and hole number five that is old one so we're going to get in here and we're going to uh, put ourselves with a titan again and the reason we're putting ourselves with a titan is again for the second shot because we do want to go with the rough bump and the rough bump is definitely the best way to make uh, an eagle on this particular hole. Uh, we do not want to go with max topspin here, especially not when we do when we can reach so far on the fairway. Sure, if we do have a longer distance, for example, if we are using the quarterback or another club that do not have the distance as an extra mile, then we do want to use as much topspin that we do have on our club. But now with the extra mile, we do not have to overpower. We just need to make sure that we stay on the fairway above the rough. That is so, so important. So as you can see, we're using uh, almost max topspin. And sure, now with the bounce there, we could have used more. But the thing that we are afraid of is that the ball will get that roll on the fairway there after the rough. That is going to be very, very 
uh, tough to kind of adjust for as it could just be shot out of a cannon down into the rough and then we're going to have a big problem to even reach for the green in two. That's why I put a titan to actually allow myself to go a little bit shorter for my second shot. So our opponent here is using a kingmaker and a kingmaker of course is one of the best balls in the game but then as you can see here now without any overpower uh, it's going to be very very touch, uh, tough to reach over the bunk, uh, the rough for the first bounce and that is something that you need to do otherwise you're going you're going to yeah you you're not going to be able to reach for the green in two so our turn here now we're going to go with the rough bump as you can see even if we do have the big dog that do have some distance and we do have um, a titan ball we're still going to be a max range of our club and that is again a big reason why we're using distance for a second shot here sure we do not have the ball guideline but with a viper for an example if a six that we do have then we would be having a big big problem to, to reach for the green there so we're going to adjust this one with two bars of backs but maybe a little bit too much especially when the wind is so um, so low we're going to adjust it one and a half rings so we kind of over adjust it just a little bit uh, just count for that this ball will travel a little bit longer in the air than normal as uh, we do have a lot of water we do go a little bit too short and we should be taking just a tiny bit away and also taking yeah, at least half a bar or even a bar backspin away to get that one to roll to the pin so but in the end we're going to secure the easy birdie we learn from that and we change our adjustment for the next try so our opponent here is, is going to be having an opportunity to reach for the green but then uh, then he needs to bounce it on the fairway to the pin and that is going to be tricky as you can't rely on the bounce all the time and using curl is necessary and also side spin is necessary to do the thing that could be happening is that you do use too much top spin and bounce over the rough there on front but now it gets a perfect bounce and get sure get uh, coming in a little bit too hot but with uh, with the design of the green it's going to be have no problem to get to the back and then fall back down for an easy birdie so now it's time for us to play hole number five and this is the second part three again one of the old uh, old holes and I, i've said it before but this is the first time we actually play this hole in a tournament and that's why I, I would love to have had this before because it's a tricky hole especially that you can make it trickier than it actually is so we are going to play with our Saturn here that gives us the most curl and you, you're going to see uh, you're going to see us having um, I would say like we're going to use a katana first and foremost to give our uh, give us the max side spin that we do want to uh, the thing that we do want to change here as you will be able to see we're using a landing position that is a little bit too much to the top we need to reduce that just a little bit i do want to have one one and a half bar of backspin especially when we do have headwind two bars of backspin is going to be a little bit too much but one and a half bar backspin is going to be absolutely good but as you can see we need to adjust our landing position just a little bit because when I'm thinking here like I'm in max distance of my club instead of overpower I reduce the backspin a little bit but in the end we kind of want to take away the the situation where we actually need to use uh, any type of overpower so as you will be able to see here now it's uh, going to come in very very hot we will be having no problem whatsoever to um, and we're going to have no problem whatsoever to putting it in for a birdie uh, and um, but in the end we do want, uh, need to make our shot a little bit better than that maybe going to go for the rough bump as we do not have the curl on a ball but we should be managing to make that one way way better uh, and again the reason we're using the the side there is to kind of counter for stuff like this that could happen if you go too far or if uh, and roll over the uh, all roll over the green or you went too short and just stay in the rough so directly again just let it pumping guys and we're going to play hole number six here another part five and we are going to go for the double bounce and the double bounce i mean that we're going to go left side if we do have a quarterback you need to use a ball with power 
Otherwise, he's going to you're going to definitely have a big, big problem for your second shot to be able to reach for the green. And we we'll always need to think this one step ahead, like, okay, if we are making this shot in this way, will we be able to reach for the green by just making a normal shot? No, we will maybe have to overpower it a lot. Okay, then we need to uh, change ball or we need to change club. So this ball will go into the onto the fairway but still going to cut the rough and now it's going to be very very unlikely that our opponent's going to be able to reach for the green in two. So our turn here we're going to use the titan and again we're using a titan to just counter for the second shot and again it's not that I want to use titans uh, it's because it's necessary uh, and with necessary it's it's not impossible to reach for the green anyway but to give ourselves the best opportunity to reach for the green in two without having to overpower etc then we need to use a ball after that so we're going to go with two rings here with our xml05 we do want to go for the double bounce and you're going to be able to see the double bounce here so we're bouncing first on the first fairway then we're bouncing on the second fairway over to the third fairway and the reason we're doing that instead of uh, going max overpower trying to bounce over the the middle fairway directly it's because we do not have the topspin for it and also we get more control when we don't have to overpower our drive. And that was max overpower, did use um, a little bit of side spin as well uh, to the left and that's because the ball will be pushed a little bit to the right with the first bounce. So as you can see here our opponent will not be able to reach as I said and sure uh, but could be able to reach over here having an open shot towards the pin definitely an opportunity but still going to be far away from the pin our turn now and we're going to go with the big dog and as you can see even with the big dog we're going to be it's going to be necessary for us to use some top spin because we are not having the distance to the pin so we're going to have to use one and a half bar top spin and we're going to use just tiny tiny bit of side spin here we're going to go with a little bit more than one and a half ring for our adjustment to just kind of you know want to go up to the left of the green to fall down right and the reason for that is that the green slopes from left to right and we do so we do want to use that in our favor we're coming in here coming in a little bit too much to the right but still as you can see how the ball rolls we're going to have no problem to putt in for an eagle but you know we definitely have some kind of opportunity here for the albatross and that would be cool to sink that albatross and this hole is kind of played the same way on every every level except for masters so dial it in use a club on the ball that is suitable for this particular shot have in mind we use the titan again and you i know i'm repeating myself but that is because we need to uh, have that in mind like I'm using a Titan not for my drive because we will be able to reach with a Marlin and a basic ball with a drive on uh, on the left side but for a second shot we do need distance then a Titan will help us very very much our opponent here coming in very close here nice try from our opponent and but still if you're not able to reach for the green in two then you're going to have a problem when it comes to uh, when it comes to making uh, the try from distance so hole number seven the last part three the last part three and we're going to go for the rough bump you will be able to see me play with a viper and that is a wrong decision with a viper then we need to use a titan ball because we only have 166 yards of the distance and that is not going to be enough and that's why you will see me kind of switching around a little bit to kind of see like okay how will I play this one? I do want to use uh, a little bit more to the left side of the rough to kind of, as you see, we do have a big bullseye when it comes to the yellow ring there. So we do want to use where we do have a, li a little bit more piece of the rough. With the rough bump, you always risk going uh, to get some kind of a glitch and it rolls over the green uh, or like stand short if you do miss your shot completely. But in the end, it's in my opinion, the best way to make an hole in one. So, but we decide to go for the rough bump instead because we can adjust from that position with a vi with the viper. I do suggest though that you do change your club if you're going to go for the rough bump on your try, because you know it's going to be very very hard for you uh, if you're going to uh, not have the distance and will have to overpower your shot. So the thing you can do as well is 
if you're having a wood club with some uh, with a good amount of backspin i would say like at least four bars of backspin then you can play it on the fairway patch just before the rough that where we bump uh, where we bounced just now the thing is with that is that you're most likely going to secure just an easy birdie but you're having a harder time to make a hole in one uh, and as you can see there from our opponent bouncing over there having a trouble having trouble to stay on the green though but again it's like kind of what, uh, what you want to do i like the rough bump because of the uh, the way to have an hole in one so with the rough bump as well we did have to adjust for maximum distance and we added half a ring to just counter for uh, that the ball will travel a little bit further in the air so hole number eight and hole number eight is going to be in my opinion uh, one of the holes where we need to have an eagle the reason for that is that we actually can go over to the right side with the wind that we're going to have and that is the thing that we're going to do if uh, i would be having the arrow to point a little bit more like northwest instead of northeast then we could actually go on the left side instead using the curl that we do have on an extra mile level five now we do not have the curl on an extra mile level five uh, and therefore we're going on the right side just making an easy shot here uh, to bounce over the rough roll past everything here and do not have anything in our uh, view towards the pin so we're going to uh, in this position going to have a short iron to the pin and then we're going to go for the rough bump this uh, this hole is definitely going to be possible to play with less upgraded clubs, less upgraded balls, uh, but in the end, it's going to be absolutely uh, possible when it comes to um, it's going to be absolutely possible to make a good shot from that particular way. The only thing that you need to have in mind is that you need to stay away from the tree in the middle. You need to take those uh, trees out of play. If you do have it in play, you will not be able to go for the rough bump in a way that you can go for the eagle. Now this one is going to be uh, in the rough. Oh, I thought so at least. I thought it was so, but it went very, very close. Now uh, the trees could be in play as you do have a tree that falls out a little bit. So it's definitely value in a way to go on the right side there. So we're going to go with the horn here max top spin, stop top spin so three bars of top spin here but as you can see we actually can use the ball guideline here with which is something that we normally can't do with a horn with the horn at level three so we reduce that we're taking um taking a little bit of top spin just to get the ball guideline through the hole maybe we should go with just one bar of top spin so we do not have to rely on being uh, on our shot in that way that we are so close to the green adjust our club as we would be in medium distance of our club and we hit the ball perfect and we're going to roll up towards the pin and we're going to just slightly miss that one to the left but in the end my friends it's definitely a very very good uh, opportunity to make an eagle and that is not uh, something that you do want to have in the desert open tournament so you will be able to see here our opponent's going to have the option to do so because he can actually play through the tree and that is not something that you of course can count for but uh, being able to um, get it through the trees is going to be of course something that uh, you know uh, that you will see as a lucky opportunity so bouncing it over there using a little bit too much of backspin otherwise it's a good hit in the rough and securing a birdie so now we come to the hardest hole in the whole tournament hole number nine but we actually have gotten some wind that we could actually go for the green into and it has been amazing to see everyone in the community actually sharing some shots uh, some good some better is uh, some good some a bit worse but in the end with the wind that it's pointing from uh, left to right then it's going to be possible we're going to change our club for this because the thing that we do need is that we do need some curl uh, actually a driver with a good amount of curl and we do not have that with our extra mile but first we're going to just see what our opponent is doing here and our opponent is is uh, bouncing himself over there to the fairway on top and that is the thing that you're going to do if you're not having a driver with curl or top spin uh, or a ball and a ball with side spin then this is the only only play in my book 
So, and now we are going to, as you will be able to see, we're going to play with a Titan. We are going to play with the big topper. And we're actually going to use max topspin on our big topper here. Re reason we're using the max backspin with our big topper is that we do want to just bounce it over the bunker and over the second bunker and then roll up to, to the fairway there. We do need to use max curl on a club and this is going to be a shot that we need to be very close to the bunker and we, so we do play with an aggressive line on uh, with our big topper but that is the only way in my opinion that we actually can put ourselves up in a situation that we can reach the green in two so making it uh, to hit perfect we bounce a little bit maybe too much to the left there kind of over adjusted just a tiny little bit and we just got in the rough and of course getting it in the rough now we can't reach for the green in two because we do not have the club for it if we would be having a nirvana then maybe we would but now we do have the machete and that is not going to be possible but there is the play that you do want to try to do especially if you do have the club for it if you do not have the club for it the only thing that you can do is that you can play yourself over and just do as best try for the eagle from distance our opponent putting himself up very nicely there and now it's going to be an open shot for the wedge towards the pin. So as you can see here, like even though with the tailwind, we're not going to be able to reach for the right side. So we do, uh, we do just focus on getting it easily on the left side and then putting ourselves over for a shot towards the pin with our short iron there. So even though if you miss sitting in, in the bunker or in the rough, then you will not be dead. That's important to have in mind. But it's also important that if you can pack a short iron or a wedge that do have a lot of backspin because this approach is definitely going to be an approach where you do want to have some backspin. So our opponent here using the backspin uh, that um, he has on, our, on his club and bouncing it there on the fringe over towards the green and we are not going to play that way we're actually going to go for the rough bump and it's a lot of rough bumps i know but in the end i'm always trying to search for uh, some type of way to get the, in the hole from the distance we are from of course we do not want to risk everything this shot was absolutely perfect in my opinion even though it didn't get in the hole it was executed perfectly uh, like underpowered kingfisher is not that often that that you do so so we're going to use a max top spin here on our uh, on our hornet hornet level three i'm going to go for the rough bump here giving ourselves an opportunity to make the eagle here we're going to be in max distance so we have to adjust it for that and it's but it's still not going to be a be that much sure it's hard to read the ball guideline there but you know at least going to give it a try so we're going to go to uh, go with two rings from this uh, distance important that we do read the wind right which we do and bounce it in the rough rolling up there i think this one is going to go close but yeah, we're getting close to an eagle here on hole number 9. But my friends, this is the playthrough for the rookie division with the win that we're going to have in the rookie division as well. If you do have any questions, please make a comment in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer you there. Every hole guide text guide is out for the Desert Open tournament. And this video is sponsored by Playdemic and Golf Clash. And I want here in the end to wish you the best of luck in the Desert Open tournament.